The new BMW 3 Series has its first outing here at the show. Now from the outside, it may not look remarkably different to its predecessor. But remember, the old 3 Series sold 400,000 cars last year alone. And what this car has to do is build on that success. Chris, when you first look at the new 3 Series, it doesn't look radically different to its predecessor, does it? Why was that? Well, you know, we're trying to show a long heritage here. What uh, the goal of this car was to capture that unique threeness. The 3 is a very unique car. It, it's an icon. And when you're messing around with icons, you've got to be kind of careful. But at the same time, there's a certain amount of excitement, a dynamic that, that the 3 Series has always stood for. And that's what we look for in designing this car. But this is a car, 3-ness means a certain ideal behind it. And when you're looking for an ideal, you can't restrain yourself. Uh, art is like that. I mean, we like to think that, that we, we aim for art. And then it's passion, passion that counts for everything. So what kind of ideals do we find then in the new 3 Series? Well, for instance, um, everything that the old 3 Series was in its dreams and thinking, we tried to capture in this one. When you put the old 3 Series to bed at night, what does it dream to be? Well, maybe it wants the wheels out a little bit further, <laughs> and maybe it wants those tires just stretched out a little bit longer, so it looks a little bit sleeker and a little bit more <laughs> Formula One. So we tried to capture that in this car. And at the same time, the 3 has always been a very refined uh, statement. We tried to bring the quality up to that, give it that same sort of uh, design quality that we find in our fives and sevens. So do you see each car that you design as having its own individual personality? You, you sort of almost envisage a little cartoon character of it, do you, as you're designing? Well, I wouldn't call it a cartoon character, but personality certainly. It's um, When you look for the personality of a person, you look in their face, you look in their eyes. It's the same with the face of the 3 Series. This new 3 embodies more than just a, a nose on a face, the kidneys. It's the complete personality that we like to think comes across. But not just the front view, all the other views too. I'd bet money on the fact that you're the kind of person who's always given your cars names. Is that true? No, I, you know, <laughs> strangely enough, I haven't given them names. Only when they did something really wrong. Then I gave my name. <laughs> You've designed some beautiful cars and some also very diverse ones. Which are you proudest of so far in your career? Well, the real way to put that is to say I've always worked with teams which have designed beautiful cars. And I'm most proud of the team I'm working with now. Chris, at first glance, the 3 Series isn't radically different. You're sort of building on, on, on a winner, really. But what are the changes? How has it improved this time around? Well, I'm told that every single thing has changed, bar <laughs> one item, which is the sump plug, the, the, bit, the plug which lets the oil out at the bottom. So, I mean, it, it is completely different. But BMW's policy is evolutionary design. It's, it's supposed to be, we are supposed to be able to take those badges off the car and if it were driving down the street, you'd immediately say, that's a BMW. So it's important that it has that family look about it. So is it different this time in terms of, of driving and in the engine range that you're offering? Well, the, I mean, the engines have been changed. The four cylinders have more power and more torque. The six cylinders have double Vanos. Don't want to get too complex about it, but variable valve timing, which makes it more flexible. Um, so that, that, the engines are different. In terms of the car itself, it's much, it has many more luxury features than before. So, for example, we've got dynamic stability control. I mean, it's probably the most, it's almost like a guided missile. You tell the car through the actions you make with the steering wheel where you want it to go, and the system does it for you. I mean, it's, it's, it's really a very advanced car in that respect. So it is very much still a driver's car. Well, absolutely. I, don't, I think if BMW didn't produce a car, which if we didn't feel it was a driver's car, we wouldn't be fulfilling our, our prime cause. So when can drivers in the UK expect to get behind the wheel? First ones will come in September. Um, that's the 318i and the 328i. The 323 follows in November. And then the 316, which will be the entry model, comes uh, sort of spring 1999. And we have a very special new diesel engine, which is the most powerful in its class by quite a long way. That comes in June 99. So you're going to just feed them a little bit at a time. Well, yes, I mean, it would be nice to have everything all at once, but life's not like that, is it, Sue? And how much can they expect to pay? We haven't actually settled prices yet because it's some way away. We're still looking at that, and it depends very much on the specification we decide to offer the British customer, which tends to be higher than the mainland European specification. So uh, without putting too fine a point, it'll be a little bit more than the current one, but not a million miles away.